Hello everybody. Today we're going to be doing a 30 minute full body flow. Have one strap nearby, a strap, a belt, a resistance band, anything that resembles like a, a strap, you can take that by your side. And then also if you want to have two blocks by your side, it's also optional. We won't be specifically using them, but they can really help you in postures that you may be a bit more tight in. Let's have a seat in the middle of your mat. Have, have your legs crossed. Allow the sit bones to ground heavy into the mat. And then gently soften your eyes, closing your eyes, letting the hands rest gently on your knees. Taking a few nourishing and grounding breaths to center yourself into this space. Taking your hands to heart center with a soft inhale to the top of your chest. Exhale, bow your forehead to your heart. Release the hands to your knees. Slowly lift your chin and then open your eyes. Let's get started lying down flat on your back and have your strap nearby. You can lie flat, let the whole body relax. Let the hips ease into the mat. Let the arms rest by your sides. Now bring the feet to the edges of your mat. So your feet are in a wide X-shaped position, mat width. Take your arms over your head and spread your arms long, also bringing the arms to the edges of your mat, mat width. So now your whole body is in an X-shaped position. From here, flex your feet and kick your heels forward towards the front. Now with the fingertips, can you stretch them towards the back of your room? So you're stretching the body long, full body stretch. Fingertips stretch back, heels kick forward. Hold here. Good, and then release. Now slide your feet together to touch and hook your thumbs. So now your whole body is in a narrow position. So almost in one straight line. Arms are straight, upper arms hugging your ears. The legs are straight, the inner knees are touching. Now kick the heels towards the front of your room and stretch your fingertips towards the back of the room. So you want to lengthen the whole body in this narrow shape. Stretch well, breathe well. Good, and release. Bend your knees, hug your knees into your chest. Soften the lower back, soften the shoulders. Come into happy baby. Hands hold the outer edges of your feet and you extend the feet up towards the ceiling. Now think of making a footprint on the ceiling. So the soles of your feet are facing up. Now with the hands, can you gently pull the hands, pull the feet down towards the floor? but with the feet, can you kick up towards the ceiling? So this pressure and this resistance creates more hip opening, hip strengthening as well. Keep this. Now bring the soles of your feet to touch in a diamond shape. Bring the heels down towards your hips and allow the knees to fall open. So allow the knees to push forward as the hips, as the heels come down towards your hips. Hug your knees into your chest. Figure four, right ankle over left knee. Thread the arms through the gap and then hug the left knee into your chest. You should feel this in the right outer hip. If you want more, you can gently pull the left knee closer to your chest and push the right knee away from you. Release and switch sides, left ankle over right knee. Figure four, thread the arms through and hug the right knee into your chest. Whew. 
feeling this one in the left outer hip. Again, you decide the pressure. So pulling or easing off, really feeling into your body. Okay, and release both knees into your chest. Now interlace your hands over your right shin and stretch the left leg forward and on the floor. Now your left thigh, can you make it heavy? Push it into the mat. But with the right knee, pull it closer towards your right shoulder. Very good, hold it here. Switching sides, left knee into your chest, right leg straight. Make the right thigh heavy and firm it into the floor. Now pull the left, le left knee closer towards your left shoulder. Breathing well. Really switch sides, the right knee into your chest. Okay, keep this. Now take your strap and whatever strap you're using, resistance band, mini band, we're going to take the, the strap over your foot, right foot, and you extend the right leg up towards the ceiling for a hamstring stretch. Now we want the right leg to be straight, so can you firm the right thigh, push it forward, to open the back of your knee. Keeping your legs straight, really working the legs. Try to keep the shoulder blades on the floor. And on the floor, can you squeeze the shoulder blades in to hug the mat? Very nice, hold it here. Can you pull the leg closer towards your head any amount, but keeping the legs straight? Come back to 90 degrees and stay. Now both ends of the strap, hold it in your right hand. Place your left hand on your left hip. Keep the left hip on the floor. Now open your right leg towards the right without bending the knee. Open a little bit more without bending the knee, but try not to let the left hip lift off the floor. Left hip stays on the floor, right leg opens out. Very good, keep it going. Right leg straight, left hip on the floor. As much as you can. When you can't go anymore, hold it there. The goal is not to touch the floor, the goal is to keep the integrity of the alignment. So we really want open hips in this posture. Firm the left outer hip down. Stretch and lengthen the, left, the right inner thigh. Very nice, come back to the center. Switch hands, left hand holds the strap. Now your right hand, can you put it on your right thigh and push the right thigh forward? So you see this um, pushing action with the, with, with the right leg coming forward, that's what we want. So we don't want the, the, the right leg to come in towards us, we actually want it to go away from us. 90 degrees, stay here. From here, can you open your right leg towards the left? Open the right leg towards the left. So this one is a tricky one because you're starting to feel more in the right outer hip, an area where a lot of us can be tight in. So your goal is not to touch the floor. Your goal is to feel into the right outer hip. So lengthening all throughout the right leg. Very nice, come back to center, bend the knee and then release. Shake the leg out, and then switch sides. Hug the left knee into your chest. Now take your strap, place the strap over your left foot, and then extend the left leg up towards the ceiling. Flex the left foot, and keep the leg as straight as you can. Now if your leg is straight, keep the leg straight, and gently pull the left leg closer towards your head but keeping the left leg straight. Firm the shoulder blades into the mat and hold here. Now come back to 90 degrees and switch and hold the strap in the left hand. Now right hand comes to your right hip. Don't let it lift. Keep the right hip on the floor. Open your left leg towards the left. Left leg towards the left. Extend well. Extend the left inner thigh long and open the left leg towards the left, any amount. 
right hip heavy on the floor opening up the hips stay and breathe on the exhale can you come down a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more good come back to center stay now right hand holds the strap left hand to left thigh push the left thigh forward and keep that now open your left leg towards the right so we're crossing the body keep the left leg straight for this one you might not go as far but we want to feel into the left outer hip keep the left thigh pushing forward but lower the toes towards the floor very nice keep on going keep on breathing good come back to center bend the knee and then release Move the strap to the side, hug both knees into your chest. And then slowly roll up into your downward dog. Full stretch in your downward dog. Keep the legs straight, arms straight, pushing them out with your hands. Lengthen the arms very nice and long. And the shoulders, can you think of pushing the shoulders away from the ears? So the top shoulders, think of sending them towards your lower back. Breathing well. Now separate your feet, mat width apart. Keeping that, walk the hands back to your feet for a forward fold. Allow the upper body to release, upper body to hang. And then slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly coming back up, coming back up, one vertebrae at a time. Head is the last thing to come up. Good. And then let's come into an all fours position. So all fours, middle of your mat, coming into some cat cows. Articulation through the spine. So tugging the tailbone up, arching the back. Lower back arches, mid back arches, upper back arches, chin comes up. Exhale to round from the tailbone. Belly button comes in towards your spine. Mid back rounds, upper back rounds, chin to your chest. Inhale. Focusing on your articulation as you follow the pace of your breath. Exhale to round. Inhale. And exhale. One last round. Inhale. Exhale to round and stay here. Now come to find a neutral spine. Keeping this, keep your knees where they are, walk the hands forward as far as you can and allow the chest to sink down to the mat. Chest sinks into the mat, hips lift up, sit bones lift up, chest is sinking down. Breathing deeply, imagine your shoulder blades softening into your mid back, into the mat. Slowly coming back up into an all fours position. Okay, stay in your all fours position. We're going to do some hip cars. So what you're gonna do is, you, is you're going to draw the right knee into your chest. Now you feel the lower back start to round. Keep that, so your core is active. Now from here, can you open your right knee towards the right? Can you point? Can you point the knee downwards and draw a circle to come back into your chest? So we're basically drawing circles with the knee. So knee comes out, knee comes down, and knee comes around. We're gonna go for three more, knee comes in, knee comes out to the right, knee comes down and draws a big circle. Good, two more circles here, knee comes out, knee comes down and around. One more time, open out, knee comes down, draws a big circle and hold here. Puff the upper back up towards the ceiling, 
push the arms with your hands, push the mat with your hands, hold here, and then rest. Other side, draw the left knee into your chest, open the left knee out towards the left, as high as you can. Good, now point the knee down to the floor and draw a big circle around. That's one, we'll go for four more. Pull the left knee into your chest, open out, knee comes down and around. Good, keep it going, drawing big circles with your knee, opening up the hip. This is adding a bit of hip mobility, articulating through your hip joint. One last one, draw the knee into your chest, open the left knee out, knee comes down and around, hold here. Knee comes into your chest, upper back pushes up towards the ceiling, hold this. Good, and then release, two rounds of cat cow, inhale, arch, looking up. Exhale, two round. Inhale to arch. Exhale to round. Walk the hands one step forward. Push back, tuck your toes, downward dog. Come forward into plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. Come forward, cobra. Pushing back, downward dog. One more time like that. Inhale, come forward to plank. Lower knees, chest and chin. Slide forward, cobra. Pushing back, downward dog. Bring the right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend the knee, open the hip. See if you can point the right knee up towards the ceiling. So you're stacking both sit bones on top of each other. Close the hip, draw the knee into your forehead. Hold it here. Push the mat with your hands, core strength. Now step the right foot in between your hands, back knee to the floor, inhale, arms up, low lunge. Keep the arms straight, but see if you can sink your hips down, opening the hip flexor. Bring your left hand to the floor, right hand swings back, catch the left ankle. So low lunge with a quad stretch. Breathing deeply, can you draw the left heel closer towards your hips? Slowly release, both hands on the floor, shift your hips back, right leg straight, half splits, hamstring stretch. Flex the right toes, Keep the right leg straight and see if you can walk the hands forward, allowing the spine to fold over your right leg. Come back to center, push back, downward dog. Stay in your downward dog, shaking the legs out. Left leg lifts up towards the ceiling, bend the knee, open up the hip. So again, try to see if you can stack the two sit bones. Point the left knee up towards the ceiling. So this is an open hip. Now close the hip, draw the left knee into your chest. The left knee touches the forehead, hold it here. Arms are straight, upper back is up towards the ceiling. Now step the left foot in between your hands, back knee to the floor, inhale, arms up, low lunge. Arms extend tall, arms are straight. Sink your hips low. Now right hand on the floor, bend your right knee, swing the left arm over and catch the ankle. So quad stretch here. Breathing deeply, can you bring the heel closer towards your hips? Slowly release, come back to center, left leg straight, half split. Roll the fingertips forward as you allow the upper body to release deeply over your left leg. Come back to center, stepping back, downward dog. Bring your knees to the floor, child's pose. 
In your child's pose, stand up on your fingertips and crawl the fingertips forward. With your sit bones, your sit bones don't have to touch your heels, but can you push the sit bones towards the back of your room? As you crawl the fingertips forward, feel the length in the side of your body. Now walk the hands over towards the right. So you fold your body over your right thigh. Come back to center and then switch. Crawl over towards the left, folding your body over your left thigh. See if you can lengthen the right arm even more. So you feel a deeper stretch in the right side body. Come back to center, walk forward, full stretch. And then slowly crawl back up into a kneeling position. Okay, sitting on your heels. If this position is not comfortable for you, you can sit cross-legged. Bring the hands together, interlaced. Push the palms forward, arms straight. Reaching forward. See if you can make your wrists in line with your shoulders and push the index finger knuckle forward. Keeping your spine tall, inhale, arms over your head. Hold it here. Push the knuckles up towards the ceiling and hug the upper arms into your ears. From here, can you bring the upper arms behind your ears? That's it. So the shoulders get some mobility here. Inhale, lengthen, reach up tall. Exhale, twisting towards your right. When you twist towards your right, make sure the upper arms are still in line with the ears. Chest is open as you rotate. Arms are still straight, lengthen tall. Good, come back to center, stay. Inhale, lengthen, reach up. Exhale, twist towards your left. Bring the upper arms behind your ears as much as you can. The chest only rotates towards the left. Spine is twisting, turning as you rotate. Come back to center and then release the hands. Come to sit in a cross leg position. And then let's take the right heel over your left knee. Both sit bones heavy on the floor. Now keeping the right foot planted on the floor, keeping that, can you bring the right sit bone to touch the floor? So you might feel a bit of hip stretching here, outer hip stretching. Keep that right hand behind you, behind your spine, behind your back. Inhale, lift the left arm up, lengthen the left side body, and then bend the left elbow, hook it over your right knee, turn and twist. So for every twist, what we want first is to grow tall, keep the spine tall, and then twist. And this will help with compression. We don't want the compression of the spine. We want the length. We want the space. Good. Come back to center and then switch. Left heel over the right knee. Left foot is on the floor. Now your left sit bone wants to be anchored on the floor, keeping that. Left hand to your left, left hand to the back of your body. Inhale, right arm reaches up. Exhale, right elbow over left knee, cross and twist. Now remember to grow tall to keep the spine lengthened and then turn and twist. So your spine is expanding, reaching up tall, lengthening, and then we do the rotation. Deep breathing as you rotate the spine deeper with every exhale. Very nice. Come back to center and then release. Downward dog. Full stretch. Right leg pigeon pose. Send the right knee to touch the right wrist and then rest the shin on the floor. 
left leg is straight and your right sit bone wants to come towards the floor. Now, if your right sit bone is lifted high, you, you can take a block and have the block underneath your right sit bone for a bit more comfort. Otherwise, you can stay on your fingertips, you can stay on your hands, or if you're ready to go and if you want something deeper, you can lower the forearms towards the floor. Allow the head, allow the neck to release. Slowly come back to center, pushing back downward dog. Left leg pigeon pose, left knee to left wrist. You can stay or you can lower the elbows to the floor. Slowly release, downward dog, pushing back. And then bring your knees to the floor. And then come to sit in a cross leg position. So turn to face the long edge of your mat so you have more space. Our last pose is going to be a side bend and a twist. So have your left leg stretched out long. And then the right foot is going to come to your left inner thigh. Okay, make sure your sit bones are grounded on the mat and then flex your left foot. Firm the left thigh into the floor. If your lower back is rounding in this position and, you, your, ten, and your tendency is to hunch down, that's okay. Take your block and then have a seat on your block. And this will help with your lower back length, which means it's going to be easier for you to come into the posture. If you are okay, both arms interlace, push forward and stretch the arms long. Inhale, both arms up. Reach the arms behind the ears. Index finger knuckle points up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist towards your straight leg, so twist towards your left. So you want to rotate the spine. You want to face the straight leg. Hold here. Now, can you hinge forward? over your straight leg, but keep the upper arms in line with the ears. Keep the left thigh heavy, hinge more, reach the fingertips over your toes. Keeping this, release the right hand to your left outer foot or the left shin. Wherever you are, have a good grip. Now the left hand comes on the floor beside you, push into the mat to lift the spine first and then exhale, bend the elbows, bow the body over your left leg. So remember what we want is spinal length. The goal is not to touch the foot, touch the toes, that comes secondary. What we want is to focus on the alignment first, focus on the feeling, and once you get the feeling, then the depth of the pose will come. Breathe deeply. Feeling into the right side body. Slowly come back up. Both arms reach up. Now send the left hand to your right thigh. Roll the left shoulder inwards as you side bend over towards the left leg. So right fingertips, left toes. Can you spin the chest open? So the right shoulder spins back and you reach and lengthen the right arm as it comes towards your left toes. Slowly back to center. Good, and then switching sides. Bend the left knee, right leg straight. 
Left foot to right thigh. Inhale. Interlace the fingers, push the palms forward, and then reach up. Twisting towards your straight leg. Firm the right thigh heavy on the floor. Now your whole body faces the right leg. Keeping that hinge forward. Hinge forward from your hips. Keep the spine straight, arms straight. Fingertips beyond your right toes. Keeping this, release the left hand to your right outer foot or your right shin. Right hand on the floor bes beside you. Push into the mat to extend and lift. Exhale, slowly bend the elbows any amount as you pour the upper body over your right leg. The more you bend your elbows, the deeper your stretch will become. So allow the hands to guide you. Let the hands provide resistance. Good, slowly release, coming back up. Both arms reach up, facing center. Now bring the right hand to your left thigh. Roll the right shoulder underneath and side bend towards the straight leg. So spin the chest forward. Left shoulder rolls back. Left fingertips to right toes. Left fingertips to right toes. Lengthen the left side body. Come down a little bit deeper with every exhale you take. Keeping the length in the spine. Hold it here and breathe deep. Very good, come back to center and then release. Take both legs into butterfly shape. So soles of your feet touch, knees are wide. Hold on to the ankles and lift your chest tall. Exhale, hinge forward. So keep the spine straight. Hinge forward, looking forward beyond your toes. You don't have to go all the way down, but can you feel the stretch in the inner thighs, inner groins? Come back to center, both hands behind your knees. Close the knees to, so that they touch. And then wrap your hands around your shins, chin to your chest to release. Slowly come back up. And that was your 30 minute lower back flow. I hope it was enjoyable for you and that now you feel more mobilized and open in your body.